Gravity is the force that literally keeps our feet on the ground. Whether we're walking, sitting, playing or flying, it's gravity that holds us in place. Although it's invisible, gravity provides us with a sense of the horizontal and vertical. Most of us take the Earth's constant pull of gravity for granted. To help us better understand this vital phenomena, ESA is launching a satellite solely dedicated to measuring gravity. GOCHE stands for Gravity Fields and Steady State Ocean Circulation Explorer. This satellite is the first of six ESA scientific missions to study the Earth from space. These missions, known as the Earth Explorer missions, will help us better understand the Earth and predict climate change in the future. They'll also put Europe in pole position on Earth observation in the coming years. If studied in detail, gravity on Earth turns out to be more complex than most people assume. It's not the same all over the world, but varies from place to place on the surface of the planet depending on a number of different factors. Firstly, the distance between the center of the Earth and its surface is smaller at the poles than at the equator. This flattening is due to the Earth's rotation making the pull of gravity slightly stronger at the poles. Secondly, the surface of the Earth isn't even, with high mountains and ocean trenches causing the value of gravity to vary. Thirdly, the material composition inside the Earth varies and matter isn't evenly distributed, all of which affect gravitational pull. Even smaller changes in topography, such as the erection of large buildings, can subtly affect the local gravity field. All these factors taken together form a gravity field that is very different from the smooth globe we traditionally think of as the Earth. Goche is due to be launched in Russia using a converted former missile now called Rokot. After its launch, Goche will have six weeks to slowly descend to the unusually low dawn-dusk orbit at 260 kilometers above the Earth. Goche needs to be in such a low orbit to pick up the tiniest variations in pull from the Earth's gravity field with its incredibly sensitive instruments. Goche, with its streamlined aerodynamic structure, is the leader of the satellite world when it comes to looks. But it's not only visually cool, it's especially designed to minimize the effects of air drag at such a low orbit. An ion engine will provide Goche with a constant low-level thrust to keep it in orbit, as opposed to boosters which would interfere with the accuracy of its measurements. At the heart of the satellite is an instrument called the gradiometer, the first of its kind to be flown in space. The gradiometer contains three pairs of floating masses and by measuring the gravitational pull on these and comparing these measurements, it can work out the gravity signal at any point on the globe. All the data collected by Goethe will go towards creating a global gravity field map with an accuracy never available before. All over the world, teams of researchers and scientists are waiting for this new information and ESA has developed an internet interface that will make it easily and quickly available to them. The information provided by Goethe can be used by scientists for a deeper understanding of areas vital to our knowledge of climate change. Above all, it will allow scientists to greatly improve what's commonly known as the geoid. The geoid is a global height reference surface which reflects the shape of the Earth if the oceans were motionless. The geoid provides the reference against which scientists can compare tide gauges, ocean circulation and sea level, all of which plays such an important role for our climate. Ocean circulation is more or less the main mediator of our climate in Europe, with the Gulf Stream bringing warm water towards the north, so it's fundamental for us to understand whether these patterns are changing and how this affects our climate. But it's not only information on ocean circulation that Goethe can provide. The Goethe mission will also improve our knowledge of the activity and dynamics of the Earth's interior. By providing information about the way in which the mass inside the Earth changes, Goethe will give us greater knowledge about the structure under the Earth's crust, possibly helping to improve earthquake prediction in the future. Another benefit of the data provided by Goethe is a better understanding of sea level changes. Having access to a uniform global gravity model gives scientists a reference to measure sea level against. This means that from one country to the next, they'll be able to unify these measurements, providing a worldwide picture of sea level today. All the information provided by Goethe helps us to better understand the planet we live on, 
But Goethe is only the first of six missions planned by ESA with this goal in mind. There are many aspects of Earth we don't know to the extent necessary. Uh, for example, uh, the gravity field, uh, soil moisture, ocean salinity, to give only three examples, uh, which we are going to measure. Satellites are the best means to do that because they give us a global view. They measure with one system everywhere on Earth. It's the combination of all the data from this range of Earth observation satellites that will provide the missing information so important for a complete understanding of our climate. And Goethe embodies the start of this completely new phase for ESA.